The Churchill Barriers connect the islands of Lambholm, Glimpsholm, Burry and South Ronaldsey to the mainland of Orkney in the north of Scotland. We have uh, just been for a paddle at the Churchill Barriers uh, near Scapa Flow. So in a nutshell, there's the barrier there and then there's this sunken ship. The reason the barrier and the sunken ship is there is because in both World War I and World War II, Scapa Flow was the main northern base for the British naval fleet. And it was quite vulnerable because there's multiple ways to get into Scapa Flow, which um, meant that U-boats could come in and torpedo ships. The sunken ships are there because before the barriers were put in place, they sunk old ships to put a blockade against U-boats coming through and then eventually after the sinking of the Royal Oak they created the Churchill Barriers which link up the islands of South Ronaldsay to the mainland and create a barrier along the eastern side of Orkney which you can now drive upon. At first glance, water with rusty metal probably doesn't look like the smartest place to take an inflatable paddleboard, but the water is really clear and you'll notice this paddling very cautiously. We paddled up towards the next barrier where there were some more wrecks. Uh -oh, is this, do you think to paddle through or should try and paddle around? The wind was picking up, there was a heap of seaweed to navigate and the culverts appeared to be starting to flow so we paddled back to Harmony. For more information on paddleboarding at this location, check out our website which includes specifics on directions, parking, weather conditions and water entry points along with information on water temperature where available. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notification and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. While you're here, check out some of these other videos. See you next time.